What's going on? It's your boy Crew Alexander, and I'm about to give you a breakdown of my latest single, Praise God. Let's go. Can we praise God? Hold up. I said, can we praise God? Hold up. So what is praise and how do you praise God? Well, praise is an expression of gratitude and respect towards God, especially within a song. And you can praise God however you want, whether it be through music, through art, through your career, through prayer, through just talking to him and thanking him for what he's brought you through. And that's how this song came about. So I wrote these verses when I was going through a pretty tough time in my life. I felt like I was dealing with a lot, mentally struggling with how to maneuver through the circumstances that I was dealing with. Um, and what better way for an artist than to write it out in song form, right? Um, and so through the course of three or four days, I had been writing it and I had been going through a lot and in the midst of that you know I felt like God was telling me to pause for a second and recognize where I was because I had gone through so much and had been going through so much that I didn't take a second to pause and say like wow I've really come far even though it didn't feel like it at the moment um, and so that's how the hook came about you know I had to stop and praise God um, for what he has brought me through and even though I couldn't see it that didn't mean that he wasn't working in the midst of all that so a lot of things on my plate I ain't got the stomach for. It's like the issues I'm running from, I'm running towards. So that was pretty self-explanatory, right? Um, I had been going through a lot. Uh, for instance, I was dealing with procrastination, selfishness, laziness, um, distractions. And so I'm, I'm recognizing these things, but I'm running from it, right? I recognize it. I'm like, God, I need you to free me from these things. These things have had a hold on me for so long. Um, but at the same time, it felt like, yo, I can't get away from this thing. I'm trying to run from procrastination. And here I am scrolling on Instagram, you know. Um, and so there was a lot of fleshly battles that I was dealing with. And so it felt like there were so many things that I almost even didn't even want to approach it because it was just too much for me to stomach. I'm feeling like my head in the ceiling, right? I see what I need to reach, but it seems like I'm paralyzed. So again, it's touching on the fact that I like recognize what I was going through. Um, and from a bird's eye view, I was looking down at myself and almost wanting to like pull myself out of it, but not taking the actions to doing so. Um, and so it felt like I was paralyzed in a sense where I, I just, I wanted to do something, but I couldn't. I make choices to stay silent. And as I'm digging me deeper and deeper, the grave widens indefinitely. So that was touching on something that I struggled with for years, right? Struggled, I'm being intentional here. Um, and that was communication. You know, I grew up in a household where I felt like I didn't really open up much. Um, I was very sheltered, I was quiet, you know, an only child for 12 years before my little brother came and my little sister at 15. Um, you know, I, I didn't really open up as often as I should have. Um, and I think as a result, you know, I brought that into my marriage and didn't even realize how detrimental it was. Um, and so, you know, for instance, me and my wife would get into arguments and I would just close myself out. I would shut myself out and move on. That's what I saw growing up, you know, and, the, and then, you know, expected that things would just fix themselves, um, but they didn't. <laughs> um, and that was a huge slap to the face. You know, um, I had to really overcome that side of me that just wanted to give in to just stay silent, um, but not realizing that I was digging myself into a deeper grave. Faith to move mountains, I'm weak and I need to climb it. I'm trying to figure out what I got into when he designed it. In other words, I need not worry. So the Bible tells us to not worry about anything, right? Philippians 4, 6 says, don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank him for what he's done. And so, for example, I was dealing with so many different giants in my life at this time um, that I have been dealing with for years. And I almost didn't have the faith that I could do it, right? But then you had to kind of come to that understanding that it's not about me. It's not about what I can do. It's about what God can do and what he has done. And so sometimes you just kind of have to get on your knees and, and, and pray and just talk to him and tell him like, hey, I'm going through something right now, God. I don't know what this is. I don't even think I can change this, but I need you to intercede for me because I don't have the strength to do it and I can only do it through your strength. If I don't feel comfortable letting my guard down, then I just cannot be vulnerable letting my God down. So this was a favorite line for a lot of y'all. Um, you know, I think it's very important to be vulnerable, especially within this walk in Christianity um, and just following Jesus, because sometimes God wants to reveal some things to you that you don't necessarily even want to hear. You might blur them out. You might just ignore it. Um, or when people even come to you and say, hey, I'm trying to keep you accountable, like, hey, you're, you're dealing with this or I've been seeing this out of you and I don't like that. 
we can become defensive and immediately block out whatever they're trying to teach you in that moment. Um, and so being vulnerable is allowing God to do the surgery in your heart that needs to happen because in order for you to be able to function the way that he called you to, um, that hard work needs to be done. Holding back tears, it's been too many years, but I'm here despite my lack, so praise God, hold up. Sometimes we go through so much in life where we feel like this weight on us that's been carried there for years and we put ourselves in a place of defeat, right? But God says he's already given us the victory. It's a walk. It's a journey with him. Um, and as you go on this journey, you're going to experience and encounter so many different giants, so many different circumstances that you're going to feel like, yo, I've never had to deal with this before. What do I do with this, right? Um, but we have the freedom to give it to God. We have the freedom to surrender it to him. Um, and in that, I think, you know, it's important to just stop and thank him for how far he's taken you. It may not seem like a lot. It may seem like you've been taking inches here and there, but God has so much more in store for you. And all it takes is for you to maintain that relationship with him, right? Spend time with him. Spend time in your word daily. You know, I'm talking to myself as well. It's really about just communicating with him and, and, and really connecting with your heavenly father. Um, and you'll start to see the fruit of your life. You'll start to see the things shift, breakthroughs happening, you know, um, curses that have been on you for generations before you were even born um, will start to break um, in the midst of, of just loving God and, and really surrendering your life to him. And so um, with that, I would say stop what you're doing and praise God for where he is taking you because he has so much more for you in store. That's it for now. If you guys haven't already, please subscribe. Hit the bell button at the top for notifications so you're notified whenever I post a new video. Go check out my new single, Praise God, whether you stream that on Spotify, Apple Music, whatever streaming service that you use, and go check out the video as well. Hit the share button. I know I'm asking y'all to do a lot, but please <laughs> just subscribe and comment below if you like this video and you want to hear more about some of the songs that I wrote. All right? Peace.